Well, when there's no surf, you can hop on the one wheel. What's up, folks? I was at the beach the other day and there wasn't much surf, so I brought along my one wheel and went for a nice chilling cruise on the beach. The temperature was mild and the winds were super light and it made for a fun day of riding at the beach. So I thought I would take you guys along for the ride while I give you my thoughts on 10 things to know before buying a one wheel pint. I was going to talk and ride, but my lav mic didn't work, so you get to hear my awesome voice as a narration instead. My list in no particular order. This isn't a ranking, just some thoughts on the one wheel pint. So let's get into it. So coming in at number one is the one wheel pint seems like any other electric skateboard at first glance. Lots of people that see me on it think that's what it is, but it's really like no other personal electric vehicle. The one wheel is a real head turner and draws a lot of attention. It's still a relatively obscure personal electric vehicle, at least around here. Most people know what an electric skateboard is or a scooter or even a Segway. But when I ride by and if I'm going slow enough, I usually get asked about the one wheel. Also, the stance of the one wheel makes it look like you're out surfing on land. It's pretty darn cool, unlike Job on a Segway, and nobody wants to look like that. Number two, off-roading. You can ride on the beach and sand like I am here in this video, or you can ride over roots, bumps, grass, take drops, curbs, and many other things. It's truly an off-road vehicle, but it won't climb super steep hills. But that's not because it's not powerful enough, but it's because of the nose dragging. You know, even if you change the riding profile to something like elevated. If you try to go up hills that are super, and I mean super steep, it can have some issues, but 99% of the time, there are no issues. Man, it's beautiful. Let's head on down into the seaweed. Ooh. Number three, range. The range on the one wheel pipe isn't nearly as good as its big brother, the XR. It's got a top range of around 13 kilometers, and that estimate is pretty accurate, I would say, but if you start taking it off road, it goes down considerably. So range is something to keep in mind. If you plan on doing longer rides, you may want to upgrade the battery or get the XR instead and possibly get a fast charger as well because the stock charger is really slow. Number four, learning curve. Depending on who you ask, some people say learning to ride a one wheel is hard. I thought it might be hard to learn, but it's actually not hard at all. And I think someone who spends an afternoon with one will be proficient enough to start cruising around. As long as your balance is good, I would say go for it. We're halfway there. Number five, accessories. I would get accessories right away, especially a float plate to protect your investment and when you are ready, you can start doing tricks or go off road and be protected. There's good aftermarket support for the one wheel and it's only getting better. I'd recommend a stand for in the house. It makes storing the one wheel so much easier and it looks nice too. Also, I'd get a stand for the car so it doesn't roll around in the trunk. Also, the fender doesn't come with the one wheel so Keep that in mind if you want one, it will cost extra. Number six, 
Number six, safety gear. At a minimum, get a brain bucket, and I'd highly recommend getting some wrist guards for at least when you're starting to learn. They are a must as you will fall, not if, but when. You know, wrist guards have saved me on at least one occasion, so that totally made them worthwhile. Number seven, water resistance. The one wheel pint is water resistant, but not waterproof. Future Motion even states this. So don't go riding it into super deep puddles or really wet areas. Having said that, the one wheel pint is a tank. I think it's pretty darn durable and I've bashed it around quite a bit since I bought it. But as I said before, I recommend a float plate if you plan on doing any tricks and the one wheel pint will get scratched up. It's a fact. You will scratch it up when you're starting to learn how to ride and over time, the rails will get nicks and scratches. So if you're worried about nicks and scratches on the rails, I'd recommend getting some side kicks to protect the rails as well. Number eight, regenerative braking. The one wheel pint can charge its own battery when going down a hill, which is pretty awesome. But if you start out your ride with a fully charged battery and try going down a hill, you will get a warning on the app that the one wheel will shut off as to prevent overcharging the battery. So if you live at the top of a hill and start off your ride going downhill, don't fully charge your battery. I believe there's a setting in the app to give you a warning when the battery reaches 90%. We're almost at the end. Number nine, speed. It's not fast. Electric scooters, skateboards, and EUCs have a way faster top speed, but the one wheel pint is not about speed. It's about flowing carves and floating. You can turn it on a dime and just cruise with it. So just enjoy the ride. Also be cognizant of nose diving and pushback if you overpower the motor by trying to go too fast. And coming in at the end, but certainly not ranked in any particular order, number 10, value. The one wheel pint is expensive, and I think it's worth every single dollar for what you're getting. Plus, I think it's still made in America. Coming in at 950 US dollars, it's an expensive piece of kit, but the fun factor is outstanding. There's nothing like it out there, but everyone's definition of value is different but I think the one wheel is totally worth it. Not to mention, again, it's pretty darn cool looking. It's like you're surfing or snowboarding, but on land, and you don't look like Job on a Segway. And nobody wants to look like Job. Well, I guess you're gonna give it a try. Well, that's my 10 things to know before buying a one wheel pint. I hope you enjoyed going along for my ride at the beach. And also after this ride at the beach, I did wash off the one wheel with some fresh water and dried it really well. Anyways, that's it for this video. Smash that like button if you feel like it. And I will see you guys in the next video.